One question I'm getting asked a lot with the mainline match range is how do you prepare the two millimeter pellets? Obviously, because they've got the added flavors, they're a little bit more sticky and take a little bit more care to prepare. But what I've been doing is having a play at home to try and find the best way of doing them so they're universal for everything. And what I've found is soaking the pellets for three, maybe four minutes in a strainer, taking them out the strainer and just letting them sit in the strainer for a good five or 10 minutes, and then putting them in a big bucket and letting them air. And what I'm doing then is I'm leaving them for like two hours in the bucket just so they can absorb all the water and the flavors and everything can really get through the pellets and then what you get is a lovely soft pellet and what I've done here is literally put them in a bag if it's obviously warm in the garage or whatever pop them in the fridge but these ones have just been left overnight and what you're left with is a super soft pellet that it's got no stickiness at all to it, so I can't even bind them together now. So they'd be absolutely perfect for feeding on the pole line. In the winter, you could actually even hook these. So what I'm doing now is I'm just putting a few in my bait tub, and I'm getting the mainline sticky syrups. These are perfect, these save any pellet. So what we've got here today is my two favorites. We've got the uh, cell flavor, and I've got the pepper tuna, which I really, really like, especially on ground bait as well. And then all I need to do to prepare them for a method is whack a bit in there, Give them a quick spin round. Oh, you can smell that cell already. They're all mixed in lovely, and now all of a sudden you've gone from a pellet that was perfect for the pole to a nice sticky one, which will break down nice and evenly for the method feeder.